welcome this is a wonderful wonderful day and the first person I'm going to do this message with is you Pisces you Pisces have been supporting me this entire journey and um, today while I'm doing your July reading I've come to my first 9,000 subscriber and I want to thank you Pisces Wow wonderful this is the month of July 2017 and this is just going to be a wonderful month for you guys there's victory and success twice with the, the chariot at the end in the fourth week and in the second week with the sword so uh, whatever was going on with you Pisces there's going to be a huge victory and success whoever the devil was is in reverse which is just so wonderful this is a wonderful time for you Pisces the coming years to come for you Pisces is going to be wonderful and why is it going to be so good for you Pisces It's because you're working with the planet of Neptune and the planet of Neptune has information of Atlantis and the Lemurian um, uh, um, culture who was there before and they especially in this month is going to help you to connect to your psychic uh, your psychic powers so this is going to go be good for you Pisces so the problem that is going to happen for you Pisces is that you're shifting you're beginning to shift um, to back to um, the um, Pisces uh, Aquarians so you're beginning to shift back to the energy of the Aquarians so be aware of this but yet still your psychic energy is going to come up extremely high so you're moving out to water so you're working with water and you're moving out to water to hair so be aware of what is happening you Pisces out there but it's going to be wonderful especially for the people who um, work, work with their intuition their psychic is as if your psychic is going to be, become so extremely high and it is going to break out and it's going to send you to some place where it's just positive energies coming through you're going to connect with the unseen world the world behind the veil the spirit guides are going to come out and help you wisdom a lot of wisdom initiative are going to happen lady nada um, all these wonderful beams from Neptunes are going to connect with you so be aware for the people who have started seeing behind the veil um, remember to always ask if they're from the light if they're not from the light and they can't give a direct answer like that then be aware of who you're communicating with okay because the energy of these people um, a lot of beams are coming out now and um, sometimes you might connect with a wrong person for the wrong reasons or the wrong beam for the wrong reason but Neptune is your planet so your guides and angel ask your guides and angels to make sure that you connect with the right beams so now I'm calling up on the Palladians and the guides and angels of the Pisces um, to come in to um, deliver this message of Ju July for you guys first of all I'm going to check out your numbers because I didn't do that um, before and let's see what you're having you're having there's a six oh two sixes so um a six is your first number um which is good um another six which is three sixes so, wow um and one the lovers um the lovers is another six oh my god it's it's all six for you guys it's like you have like about one two uh three four four sixes in your reading oh my god four sixes in your reading so it's six four sixes is in your reading okay this is um eight uh ten um uh, four so it's, it's, it's six and ones it's three times ones and three times six. Oh my god that's a powerful message for you guys um, let me make sure I, I, I write this down it's three times sixes and three times one so I'm going to do um, three times ones Wow this is powerful three times ones and three times six okay you Pisces wonderful okay good news is going to come for you Pisces it's a wonderful time good news um, good news of a, a new beginning is going to come for you Pisces there's going to be st st stability and balance in your life 
um, you're, some of you are going to have a very long life and um, whatever is happening you're going to be protected this victory and success because you have victory and success you're going to be protected by the um, by the 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 rules of the land whatsoever is happening um, you're going to be victorious over a situation in your life and you're going to be protected by the rules of your land um, the energy of the love is good news is coming for you guys both uh, there's a, a huge victory and success uh, for you and you who your partner and um, good news is on its way to you guys so there again congratulations I'm taking off my glasses now and I'm going forward with a reader the month of July has four weeks and with this four weeks in the month of July we are having a situation where we have the emotional aspect in the first week second week we are having the energy of uh, the hair energy and the third week uh, we are having um, uh, looking at your shadow side or looking at your enemies it's more about looking at your enemies because you're victoriously successful so some people will be victorious and success over the shadow side in the third week some people is going to be victorious and success over um, diversity negative energies that has been coming at them the devil is in return in, in the second week and you're moving away from that so um, the two last week are going to be your two most fantastic week for you Capric uh, <laughs> Pisces Pisces out there this is I'm talking to um, fast I realized that what I've been doing back-to-back -back readings because I need to get them done so that I can get them out today as we go forward we are having um, emotional memories of love and this is good you Pisces memories of love which is the energy of the number six so you're connecting um, and you're remembering family situation you're remembering things that has been happening to you so this is a wonderful so what's where is happening you're connecting with soul family you're going to connect in the first week with soul family okay and by connecting with soul family which I look forward to connect with the universal energies and this is going to be bring a growth in your life by connecting with your soul family your cosmic families and uh, the intergalactic beams you're going to realize that this is bringing you a positive positive endeavor growth of um, emotional growth uh, that you're healing whatsoever that was there and you're connecting with your soul family and the Palladians are coming in to give this message that you should open your heart to love and this is wonderful and uh, positive um, I love working um, with you guys because the Palladians is the angels of love and working with Neptunes because I work with the spirit world which is wonderful what is coming out with this growth your financial situation is going to be uh, um, there is going to be growth in your financial situation okay there is going to be positive growth in your financial situation I have to put my glasses on because I've been going like all day the page of Pentacles is bringing you a message about growth in your financial situation okay so um, whatever has happened you're connecting with past soul people um, they're giving you information a growth in your financial situation is going to come in because the page of Pentacles is here bringing you a message they are at the beginning of the month to let you know that your financial situation a growth is going to come but yet still stability is going to come in your financial situation so the first week is a wonderful week it's a, a week of connecting with soul family and by connecting with soul family and all these people you're going to see that a growth um, is coming up in all different manner that is going to affect your financial situation and there is going to become a stable of balance moving on in the second week this is um, a situation there was a situation that has to do with an organization and there was a situation that has to do with an organization and you're moving on you're having a completion um, to a situation that was happening in an organization so the the um the second week is a week of you moving on is the number six energy which is the energy of uh, 
a moving on and uh, there is a completion of a situation that has been going on for a very very long time so you're moving on and you're leaving the situation and you're moving on and this is going to be extremely extremely positive there is completion and you are on your way and you're moving out of this completion and this is going to be extremely positive the devil is in reverse thank the Lord so this completion has bring the devil in its reverse form and this is so positive so the second week is going to be movement for people uh, people will be moving away and uh, this whatever it is is a situation is workplace a situation that has to do with people who were holding you back lying and and and, and holding you back in all different sort of manner it can be um, you 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 end your uh, your studies and they've been holding you back with certain things it could be in a company or it com could be in a huge organization that you have been having um, uh, uh, um, fighting with them for um, uh, 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 honesty and um, honesty and you know and uh, you have been you know going with this organization uh, or it can be an organization that has been you know against you for whatever reason because somebody has lied and they bring injustice on you and you are now walking away from it because it's a completion in the second week of July and you're walking away from it it's not a relationship it is an organization okay it is an organization okay in the third week what do we have here another year a year sign so you have um, the emotional and you have uh, um, the sword so now you have the hair so you have actually three elements you have the energy of the hair and you also have fire so you have all four elements that is vibrating in this month for you guys and this is the third week and you're working with your shadow cells so some people will be working with yourself um, by working with your shadow self what that is doing is working with your ego and you're trying to bring your ego in balance most people will be trying to bring their ego in balance okay most people will be working with their shadow self are they're contacting and working with uh, um, people who have been working against them so what is going to happen is that the universal angels the angels of Neptune is going to come in and show you certain aspect and you and the intergalactic beams are going to come in and show you some aspect and the cosmic families are going to come in and show you some aspect of things of yourself and you're going to work with that and they're going to help you and by doing that and accepting their help you are going to have priors pray whatever it is pray what I love about this card with prayer pray on if you can't pray if you don't believe in praying call upon the universal angels and beam for divine intervention in the situation whatever the situation is and pray about the situation and know that by praying you are going to heal the situation because by praying and not worrying you're going to heal the situation and by praying this is what comes out you will be victorious and successful okay so whatsoever that was happening you were fighting against the legions of negative um, people in your life and um, working on the shadow side because negative people work with a shadow so you have to go and work with a shadow with them but when you're doing something like that you need to call upon your guides and angels and ask your guides and angels to come with you and work with the shadow of this um, 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 people because they are working with a shadow so you have to go and work with the shadow so this is wonderful because um, use prior in whatsoever or if you can't pray people just said I'm calling up on my universal angels my guiding angels for divine intervention in this situation that is happening to me right now whatever the situation is this call in on them okay and whatever it is you're going to be victorious and successful and you are going to be very famous for some people I am very famous being known is going to happen for you very famous people are going to um, see you and have respect for you and uh, is really going to see how you have stand up to certain adversity that has happened in your life but not being disrespectful but just standing up on your own 
that's a good week for you guys um, a lot of you are going to be famous uh, you, a lot of people are going to you're going to receive um, 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 fame but yet still respect for other people congratulations another victorious card it is the fourth and last week and with this fourth and last week we are having the energy vibration of victory and success triumph a huge huge triumph in your life this triumph is uh, is what you have been waiting for you have triumphed over the negative aspect of whatever people were doing you have triumph with um, victory and success you end whatever it is with victory and success okay this is um, very beautiful you have also the energy of reject do not feel reject you know do not feel reject what's the way it's happening um, some people is going to be uh, felt rejection from a lover and um, uh, you know maybe there is a situation where it's not really rejection it's just that maybe this person just uh, you know um, want to go another part you know whatever it is you know sometimes we're in love with people who are not in love with us and this is what is happening here um, you are feeling reject rejected by a lover and uh, um, maybe it's something that someone said or that sort of a thing but don't be don't feel rejected because uh, uh, maybe that person is just on a different journey maybe that person wants to go on a different journey maybe that person feel as if you know um, it is time for me to go on a new journey so you know people changes because um, I you know I know that people changes their life and whatsoever it is but don't feel rejected because reject is a protection from um, the universe rejection is a protection from the universe rejection is a protection from the universe so whoever you are out there do not feel rejected maybe um because you're victor you, you see triumphant comes before these rejections so maybe at some stage you were rejected but don't feel that way because good news is coming for you and 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 this triumphant maybe you were rejected by something someone some situation that has to do you know maybe an organization didn't take you on or something like this don't feel rejected because what is happening here is that good news is coming for you and your partner so it doesn't have a rejection from um, your your partner or a relationship for some people it's just that an organization had um, rejected you for whatever reason it was but good news is coming for you and your partner and this is just going to be wonderful so in this month this month of July I can't um, stress it enough for you Pisces it's a month of ending it's a month of completion the month of July is a is, 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 is a month of ending and completions and bringing in new beginnings for you and this new beginnings whatsoever is coming in it's going to be good because there's a balance uh, with whatsoever had happened and you're protected no matter what it is you're protected you're going to have long life some of you are going to have long life so stable and balance is coming in and with that stable and balance is going to bring long life to a lot of people some people are going to be very known well known so the all the creators out there this is a month that you should go out and put something out there because you're going to be extremely extremely popular um uh, this is this I'm seeing the energy vibration for a lot of you guys out there and girls uh, you know and, and this is going to be positive it's just that you whosoever was out there going through certain things and sometimes you're not even aware that certain organization or certain people are against you and certain people are working against you and this is when it comes out and uh, you're ill in that emotion thing in the first week in the second week uh, you're moving away from it in the third week uh, you're facing your demons you're facing your shadow side you're facing your demons and you're going to be victorious and successful so facing your shadow shadow side is you working with your inner your inner self and facing your demons is the people who have been working against you in four weeks is a huge victory and success 
and whatever you had felt rejected over somebody is going to come back and want and you're going to say no because you and the lovers whoever you're in a relationship with now is going to be the love of your life and uh, this is going to be wonderful so congratulations again you Pisces I am so loving loving this reading for you guys let's see what we have here with the lovers because you're ending the week with um, rejection the lovers but good news is coming to you who okay um okay for some of you for some of you I have uh, two messages and some of you if you had a relationship with the queen of sword that was where the rejection was coming from and that rejection from this uh, Aquarian um, Gemini or Libran yeah this Aquarian Gemini or Libran whoever this person is whoever she was or he was and you had felt a rejection from it is good because you were protected by um, the universe so that is what um, that rejection was that rejection has to do with people who are working with the Aquarians Gemini's and Librans and you were rejected from them and that was a protection it was a protection from um, the universe they wanted to you to protect you from this person so whatever you felt rejected over you don't have to feel rejected over because the universe was protecting you from an air sign person whoever that air sign person the universe was protecting you from so if you're a Pisces out there you wanted to connect with an air an Aquarius a Libra or a Gemini and they have rejected you it was a protection from the universe okay let's see what else do we have for the Pisces Wow in this month you guys are going to meet your soul partners yes in this month you guys are going to meet your twin flame and soul partners it's going to happen in the third week so if you're looking for a twin flame or soulmate relationships um, whoever you come across in the third week can be your um, soul partner can be your twin flame your twin flame of um, this is going to be your twin flame of your soulmate for some people in the fourth week you need to have balance with your partners so for the people who are partnered up in the fourth week you need to really have balance you need to have balance with them because whatever situation that has been happening has been also affecting your partner so you need to have a little balance with them also okay so this is positive whoever had reject you was an air sign person and it was to protect you this um, this air sign person who rejected you was to protect you okay so in love and business business is uh, um, it's all about ending a certain situation it's completing a certain situation that you had with an organization it can be in business or it can be in your private life that you were having conflict um, with an organization maybe the organization was having it with you and you weren't aware it can be because these things do um, um, play out and um, you are ending that so it's all about ending um, things and, and, and making an end to things and, and you know successful and victory and you're going to be victorious whatever this organization I try to done to you and you're going to bring stability back in your life and you are ending a situation and you will be triumphant because you have the sword energy here in the third week and in the fourth week so you guys have three times one three times six and the third week and the fourth week is going to be one of your best energies okay for the Pisces Sun people we have the energy of Scorpio the energy of Scorpio coming to work with you Scorpio come in to work with you in this month this is going to be something because this is going to be good because scorpion is also an, a mystic mystical um, a really really mystical um, people and they are your sister sign and if they are coming to work with you that means uh, there needs to be something that needs to be healed so this is actually very good for you um, Pisces as I look at this it's going to help you guys to vibrate 
um, the, the, the scorpion is going to help you to change certain aspect of you you're going to connect with more scorpion people because they're ruled by Pluto so they are going to help you to make dramatic change in your life and you also have uh, um, the energy of Mercury and the energy of Mercury um, is good with you scorpion because something is happening that is going to change your whole world it's as if the tower is breaking down the tower you know see the tower the tower as the energy vibration of you because it's just standing right there and they're um, pushing me to show you the energy of the tower and what this is doing is that the energy of the tower is really clearing clearing things and people that were working against you they're really cleaning and uh, caring things and people that was working against you and um, the the planet of Mercury is coming in for you um, Pisces is watch for and um, watch for messages in your dream so you Pisces you Sun sign Pisces needs to watch for messages in your dream you Sun sign Pisces needs to watch for messages in your dream so whoever you sun sign Pisces are you need to watch out for messages in your dream we're moving on to the energy of uh, the, the uh, moon energies for the moon Pisces people and um, what is happening here for you moon um, people you are having the energy vibration with Gemini's so there is going to be a situation with the Gemini's and the Gemini's work with Mercury so you moon Pisces are going to have a situation with the Gemini's be aware of this some of you could be connecting with them in love some of them could some of you could be connecting them with them in other ways it could be conflicts because they can be very conflicting they're 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 like the fox so you have to be careful because you're a water sign but these Gemini's are like the fact the fox okay they're sluice there's they're there you know so be aware of this and you could be connecting with them in love so whatsoever is happening for you moon energies with you and the Gemini's it could be um, in business but it also can be in love be aware of them because they can be very slight okay be aware okay your last and final energies are coming from um, the mudra 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 I love these the mudra because it's uh, how they show you how you can uh, awaken some energies your energy points in your body the mudra um, I love these because it, they you know really bring um, good messages out so here we are we're going to see what is the last energy for you guys and what this and it says inner truth inner truth so this is profoundly good the inner truth inner truth um inner truth assisting integrity and truth and communication another sign get it and i think it was the aries the aquarians i'm sure um, i think it was the aquarians i'm not sure and it said integrity truth and communication okay bring balance to the throat chakra and the vocal cord assisting the immune system opening clear communication and support balance and metabolism I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion always constantly say that the energy of this inner truth you guys are going to be confronted with the inner truth it's, it's going to be a wonderful wonderful um, extremely wonderful um, month for you guys I want to say to you Pisces now thanks again you have you guys really I am so grateful I tend to um, um, I tend to connect with a lot of Pisces I have a lot of Pisces people who I love my mother was Pisces my grandmother was Pisces um, my cousin my 
uh, her best friend was Pisces, uh, is Pisces. Um, I have so many people who are Pisces who I connect with, and I love you, Pisces, because um, you bring out the love, okay? Um, you are so full of love, you Pisces, and I can't, you know, it's just one of the signs. Uh, once somebody said they're Pisces, I'm totally connect with them, whether or not they have good or negative um, endeavors. I love the Pisces because uh, um, my mom was my best friend and she was Pisces and my grandmother was uh, one of the most important people in my life. And um, I want to say to you, Pisces, whatever the situation was, whatever that was going on with you, you're going to be victoriously successful come out of the situation. This is going to be a brand new beginning for you guys. And I want to send all of you love and light. I'm wishing you and hoping that all your wishes and dreams will come true until next month.